This is the Lady J, so I'm going to show you guys how to go from this to this. If you want to see, keep watching. So first, I'm going to use my water bottle and damp my hair a little bit because it's easier to work with when it's damp. Making sure I get most of the strands in my hair because I'm going to be working with my hair in its natural state so then I'm gonna use some of my Tresemme naturals to give my hair some type of slip just to make it easier to work with you know making sure that the product gets to my roots that is why I'm shaking my head like that my hair And my Tresemme Naturals, I added some peppermint oil to it, and it smells so good. So, some of the products that you would need are combs and Barbie pins. So, on the clip on the left, you see that I am sectioning my hair. Just wanted to demonstrate what size my sections usually are. You can make your sections any size you want, but this is the size that I make mine. It's easier to work with my hair like this. And I just part it down in the middle. And then from that one section, I start making smaller sections. As you can see, that's about the size that I do them, and I just twist them. You can see how I twist it on the right, and then after that, I just continue to twist my hair. And don't forget to put your Barbie pins in to make sure that they stay in place. And I'm going to continue to do that throughout my hair. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to twist it a little bit and then make the bantu knot, as you can see. And I'm just going to do that. For the rest of my hair and I'll come back when I'm almost done so this is how my hair looks when most of the top of my hair is done in bantu knots in this demonstration I'm not gonna do my full head in bantu knots because the back of my hair has more tighter curls so I can just leave that how it is and then my front part of my hair has loose curls so I'm working with that and making them into bantu knots so it's going to be two different textures because my hair is not the same texture throughout you'll see in the video how the back of my hair has tighter curls and the front of my hair is more loose especially around my edges so I'm just going to bantu knot the front part of my hair and then just pin up the back but you'll see in this demonstration how I do that so that's a little trick you guys can use if you have different textures of hair type you know different hair types in your hair and that is how my hair looks as you can see in the back part right there my curls are tighter but yeah and then I am going to sleep the next day when I wake up I take my little headband off and spray my hair with water so my hair can expand again in the back we don't want that bed head bed head hair 
so then I'm just gonna start pinning the back of my hair up so the front will be easier to work with and this is the shape that I want my mohawk to be in the back so the back part of my hair will already be done once I start taking out my bantu knots and it doesn't have to be perfect just do it the way you want to do it so I don't mind if my hair is a little frizzy it doesn't bother me so yeah and that is how it looks in the back after I pin it up and now we're gonna start taking out the bantu knots in the front when I take out my bantu knots I usually separate and then separate again as you can see and I'm just going to repeat this process all throughout the top of my head. Once that's done, I'm just going to slick my edges back. I don't use any gel, but I just pin it up with Barbie pins. And this is what it looks like, the finished product. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For more videos, if you like tutorials like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to at least 100 likes. And thanks for watching. Talk to you loves later.